Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. The hacks you find on TikTok can sometimes be extremely useful and other times they can be super big fails. There are tons of Cricut hacks on TikTok and I thought I would test some of those just for you. So these are 10 hacks that I've seen on TikTok like all over my feed. So I could not really narrow down an original creator for any of these. They all seem to be used by several creators that made TikTok videos about the hacks. So I'm going to show you the hack, test it for myself, and decide whether or not I like it. Now I'm just gonna warn you right now, several of these are fails. So let's take a look at 10 Cricut hacks from TikTok and see if they're worth it or not. Hack number one involves tape as well as print and cut. So I tried print and cut on this sheet. It has a holographic laminate over the top and the machine is erroring out. It will not cut because it cannot read the boxes around the edge. What I normally do is put tape on the boxes, but I saw a hack that if you put tape on the light, it will work and you never have to use tape again. So let's give it a try. So I'm just gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna go under the light. So the light is below your blades and I'm just going to go under. Taking your blade out to do this might make it a bit easier. Raise that tape up and stick it right into place, wrapping it around. I've now tried this a few different ways with a few different tape placements and it didn't work any of the ways. So I'm gonna call this one a failure. Do you ever have trouble putting the clear sheet back onto your mat and lining it up? I saw this hack and thought it might be helpful. Put your mat on the back of your Cricut machine where this little lip is. The Maker, Maker 3, Explorer 3 all have a little lip there that will hold it still. However, I do think even with this Explorer Air 2, it's gonna be helpful. So you know, it gets like stuck on the sticky part or whatever. So now I can line it up at the top here Make sure it's lined up and then just press it to the mat. So I do think this will be helpful no matter which machine you have, but definitely more helpful if you have the Maker, Maker 3 or Explore 3, as the mat will just sit on this lid. If you use a 12 by 24 mat, this next hack might be for you. You can take an empty roll from the inside of your vinyl and put it under your mat when you're cutting with your Cricut machine on a table. It will help hold your mat up. Personally, I don't find this hack extremely useful. I think the Cricut cuts fine with the mat. It's just on the table itself. I did purchase this from Amazon. It attaches to the tray of an Explore Air 2 or an Explore 3 and sort of holds the mat up. And I tried that as well. Again, it doesn't stick out very far. I didn't find it extremely useful. However, if you are cutting on something like a shelf and you're cutting with your 12 by 20 format, you may want something to hold it up. The most useful hack that I've found for this is to use a yardstick. Just place it under your Cricut machine and then add the mat to the machine. Without the yardstick, the mat doesn't stay up and just sort of folds down if you're not cutting on a table and cutting on a shelf. So I definitely think if you're cutting on a shelf, the yardstick hack is definitely worth it. Otherwise, if you're on a table, just let the mat hang off. One thing I've been seeing a lot of is that an off, adding an offset around your image will help with weeding. So I added an offset around this and it's an extra cut, so it is some extra time. And then I'm just gonna grab that offset. And I'm still, like I still have to weave the same. It just, maybe on something super intricate it might be helpful. Um, I didn't, it still caught right here in that little bend right there. Um, yeah, so not a huge fan of that hack. Um, Maybe I need to cut something else, but I'm gonna call that something I personally would not do. Next is using a lint roller for weeding. And I picked up this extra sticky lint roller just for this hack. I have one, my butterflies here without the offset actually. And I'm just gonna kind of roll this over. Okay, so it's picking up some of my scraps, but it's also <laughs> picking up the vinyl itself. So this part right here is part of my design. So probably a fail for me. Um, I could see where it could be useful for some designs. Let's try a lint roller that's not as sticky. Same design, regular lint roller. I'm gonna roll it across. 
the exact same thing is happening. Um, it's picking up what it should not pick up. So again, not a huge fan of this hack. You might have seen the hack where you remove the end of the Cricut tool and use that to put your scraps in. So I'm gonna try that with the rest, by weeding the rest of this butterfly here. So picking up the small pieces and just putting it inside there and it, and it does have little cutouts on the side. So I would say this does an okay job. Now the test is going to be if these will come out. And they came out okay. There's still some stuck down in there. So cleaning it out would be the only thing, like I think it would be tough to clean out, but it works okay. I have a few vinyl weeding things that like stick to the table that I like a little bit better, but you could definitely use this in a pinch. This next hack is one I've used before and actually like, but I've been seeing it and just in case you've never seen it, it can be extremely useful, especially on the Cricut Smart Vinyl. So I went ahead and cut some Smart Vinyl and sometimes I have issues a lot of times with the Smart Vinyl releasing from the backing paper. No matter how much you burnish, you just can't seem to get it to release. A hair dryer or low temp heat gun, just hit the back for a few seconds and oftentimes it'll come right off. Just heat it up and then you can peel that backing paper right back. Sometimes like you have to heat it up multiple times so like this came off at first and I might have to hit the like second half of it again. So I can leave that off. Warm up that second half another time and burnish, peel back. I feel like the Smart Vinyl has improved, but this is like some old stuff I had. So that hack helps me run through it and be able to use it up. Next hack is if you have the Cricut roll holder, you can actually use it to hold your cup still while you add vinyl or whatever to the cup. So I do think this is a really useful hack as well. Now, if you don't have the roll holder and wanna do like the same type of thing, I thought I would test an option for you as well. This is a cup holder from PYD Life. I do like it, couple reasons. It's adjustable, so you can do different widths here. Second reason it has measurements on the side, which can be helpful for some projects. So it really does the same thing, holds the cup still, keeps it from rolling. But if you don't have that roll holder, this is another great and inexpensive option to use for your crafting. I've also seen people using a lint roller as transfer tape. So I thought I would try that really quickly. So just one sheet of that lint roller, and this is just a regular lint roller, and I'm gonna try it first. Burnish it down. Burnish from the back. And I may use that same hack again with the heat, and I will. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the heat hack again. Then see if I can get this to peel back. And it's just not coming off with a regular lint roller. So let me try the stickier version. So here's the extra sticky lint roller instead. I'm gonna put that over the top. Burnish that down well from the front as well as the back. And then let's just see if it'll peel back. Again, I'm gonna use the heat hack. It still does not seem to be working as well as the transfer tape I used. It's just not coming off great. So I'm gonna say I do not like a lint roller for transfer tape. Final hack I'm testing is cutting your cardstock upside down. So if you cut cardstock with your Cricut machine, you might notice some imperfections, especially with small cuts. If I remove these little hearts from the mat, the back side is perfect. On this version, if you can see, the tip of this is kind of turned up because the blade sort of drug across the heart. 
If I flip that over, that tip is perfect. So this was the side against the mat. So definitely hack to give a try for your cardstock crafts. Okay, so which of these are my favorite? Probably the cutting cardstock upside down. That was the last hack I did. Um, also the using the hairdryer on the back of the vinyl to help that backing paper release. That's another one of my favorites. Heat actually on vinyl can help you weed as well. So heat and vinyl definitely is a hack that I personally use and love. So some of these have been around quite a while. Others are fairly new. And as you saw, there are several that I personally did not have luck with. You might, you might love using your lint roller for weeding. You might be able to get that lint roller to work as transfer tape. More power to you. I could not get it to work or get it to work consistently enough where I would use the hack. But that's okay. Everyone crafts differently. So tell me in the comment section what are your favorite Cricut hacks from TikTok. I might just test those in a future video. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the hacks we've covered, feel free, drop down in the comment section, ask away. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button on YouTube. We have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.